guys, Code Red Wind in here. Uh, I wanted to make a video. So this L3 Plus um, was a recent purchase. I bought a used, the same guy I bought all three of these from. This one has been giving me some problems. So I just wanted to go through what I've been doing to troubleshoot, troubleshoot and what I've been trying to fix with it. Um, so the, the problem is that only three boards are showing up. Um, and, and no matter what I do, so I have another board that I had purchased uh, from the same guy thinking, hey, maybe if I swap the board out that say it's bad, it'll fix it. No, I didn't fix it. I tried moving the boards around and the board that doesn't work moves to a different plot space. So I was like, okay, I'll buy some new ribbons. So I bought a set of new ribbons, um, data ribbons, and they're really cheap. Uh, so I did that, it didn't fix. I was like, okay, so maybe it's the power supply. So I hooked up uh, an ATX power supply. Sorry about the finger. I hooked up like this. You know, normally I wouldn't run it off that, but just to test it, um, I did that. Normally, normally it runs off this uh, 1900 watt 240 uh, power supply. So the guy, he's the guy I bought these from, he, he has a bunch of them. So most people, you know, they don't have 240 volt available to them, but I, you know, got 240 volt installed uh, for my whole system a while back, uh, which actually I'm, I'm needing another plug. I'm in contact with the uh, electrician now as we speak about doing it. So, okay, so, um, so I switched the power supply out and it worked for like one turn on. So I know the boards are good. Um, when you look in the kernel log, it's like a CPU, uh, it's like a temp, temp data air one is what it says. Um, I can, I, I can put it down below in the description exactly what it says. Um, so I was like, okay, clearly I know the board works. It doesn't show up and doesn't have all access. It just clearly doesn't show up. So that means it's something wrong maybe with the control board. Well, when I had the guy sent me another um, hash board. I also had him send me another control board, which I purchased from him, of course. Um, so I swapped it out with that one. It is a used control board. Um, so I put it in. Same issue. Still one board not showing up. So at this point, I'm like, okay, this is getting a little frustrating. Let's go ahead. Let's replace one of the fans. So this fan back here is brand new uh, with one of these parallel minor delta fans. So, and then I had a spare one of this, which I know works, but I was like, okay, still not working. Let's go ahead and put two brand new fans in. I just got this in the mail yesterday. So I'm gonna hook up this one now. Get this out. We're gonna hook this one up now, and I'll let you guys see the hash boards. So these things, when I got them, oh my God, were they disgusting. They, they look a lot better than what they looked. Um, so also, what I'm going to do is, we're going to go ahead and unhook all this. Um, I just, I just went, I went ahead and ordered a brand new hash board. So, when you put Hive OS on these, uh, hash, or on the control boards, it's really hard to get Hive OS off. It's like a one-time thing. So, like, if you put Hive OS on, and so I was doing a lot of reading that possibly that it's the software that is causing one of these control boards not to come to show up. So my thought is, I'll, I'll buy a brand new board. There's no reason why this thing shouldn't work. It's brand new, I know it works. Um, and if the board shows up with this brand new one, then obviously I'll just leave the basic software on it. Um, and I know this doesn't have a virus like the original ones that I got because it's brand new. As you can see, I mean, it's, it's pretty sparkly. Um, I got it off eBay, it was about $100. So, they're, they're not cheap. So as you can see, I mean, these things are, they're not like, they're just old. You know what I mean? Like, L3 Pluses are how old? And you know, usually new control boards are $100 and new hash boards are $400. Um, but I mean, in that theory, I mean, if you have the shells and you have most of the parts that work, you can keep these L3 Pluses running for practically ever because the parts are so basic. And I mean, unless you had like all four boards go wrong at one time, 
it would be like the only time that sucks. You know what I mean? Like, other than that, if you have one board that goes bad at a time, why not just buy a new board and replace it? If you've got a control board that goes by bad, just buy a new control board and replace it. And you can keep these things running for forever. Um, as far as what I'm mining, so I have this one, the other one, and I was going to do more of a profit video, but I as well do it now. This video is only five minutes so far. Uh, and then I have the, the mini doge. So with all three of these running, they've been running for about three days now. I'm mining about 0.3, so 0.035 light point a day. And some days it varies, so I mined about 60 to 70 doge a day. So um, if you do that math with the market down, uh, I mean, it's roughly, if I'm not mistaken, the math that I thought could be wrong, it's right around $20 a day. Um, I can... I can double check that, of course, and I'm sure you guys will double check me too, but yeah. So, um, actually, so on this one, I actually had an issue, I think it was this one, maybe it was that one, I actually had the same issue, it was like the CPU fan temp air, and I replaced the fan, and that's what fixed it, so, and so, like, this one has just been a nightmare to fix. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hook up the new fan, I'm going to put the new control board in, and then we'll and then I'll come back and we'll see uh, we'll see if this works. Uh, we're back. We got the new control board in. We got the new fan in. We got the power supply hooked up. Ethernet cable plugged in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power supply. One second. about this market uh, we're about 55k now I'm glad uh, ETH didn't fall below 4k but these dips are healthy to anybody new to cryptocurrency these dips are healthy if we just went parabolic non-stop that's unhealthy these dips in the market are healthy imagine the S&P 500 if it moves a fraction it's it, you can't even notice one or two percent but because the s p 500 is 10 times larger than the cryptocurrency space a small movement is a large movement in a smaller pool so it, it's hard for a lot of new people in cryptocurrency to hold their hold their coins or they panic and they sell or they buy at the highs because they they buy into the fomo and the hype when in reality odds are there'll be another dip or a uh, you know a a slight decrease in price it, I mean there always is going to be now obviously there is a difference between you know a giant crash and a dip dips are healthy um, you know discovering new all-time highs healthy uh, all-time high to a dip healthy you set a new medium higher price that's higher than the original price before the new all-time high these are all good things now stuff that can crash your market um, fear regulation um which regulation of the cryptocurrency space is good the more regulated it is the more trusted and backed it can become regulation is important for the crypto space if we wanted to become more mainstream it uh, it needs to be regulated sadly by the government but that is the way for it to become more mainstream is more regulation so okay sorry went on a rant there okay so because we loaded up a new IP board, we're going to need to find the new address. So let's go ahead and pull up Advanced IP Scanner and scan. Over here you can see I have 23080Ti. Uh, password is root root for default. Okay, yep, this is it. We're going to save that. I recommend you go in and switch your password right away on a new board. Save and apply. Alright. It's going to want us to re sign in. Here we go ahead and update. Update. Alright, so it's just got the basic pools in. 
you can see it has the updated software. So let's see, do we have all four boards working? We do, yay, all four boards are working. So now the question becomes, do I risk changing it to Hive OS or do I just keep it on this? And you know what I mean? Like, also I've read that possibly the software of Hive OS could have been the issue. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and not fix what's not broken. I have all four boards working. I'm going to go ahead and keep it on the base software. Um, yeah, so if there is any questions, please direct them below. I'm gonna put in my pooling information. I mined a pool in. I have the three L3 pluses and the mini doge mining to there. So yeah, um, great video. Um, also, come mine with me on Ezil. Follow the link below. Not only can you get Ethereum, you get Zilliqa too. Same same payout time, same everything. It's just you're getting an additional coin to help cover cover them uh, cover the cost of your uh, dispersion of coins. So you know your um, your gas fees. So yeah. Uh, Please like, subscribe, and thanks. Bye. A quick, uh, quick follow-up. Um, I decided to h install HiveOS. As soon as I did their auto-tune program, it caused the, one of the boards to fall off. So I restored to default. The board comes back on. As long as I don't use their auto-tune program, it seems that everything's okay. So just a, just a quick update. I tried doing it multiple different ways, multiple different auto-tunes, and every time it just makes one of the boards disappear. So it seems that the HiveOS auto-tune is the problem with one of my hash boards. I'm not sure which one, because I don't have, I mean, I could go through one at a time, but I've, I've already done that. So I don't, I, don't, I don't really feel like it's worth even messing with and just leaving it on this base HiveOS, but just leaving it default, I think is the best choice. See you.